California's Emmy Award-winning game show, where schools match skills and wits. Kid Quiz. And here, to introduce today's participating schools, is your host, Macrobio Perez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you at home for joining us on this edition of Kid Quiz, a brand new season here. We're in the preliminary round, so the schools that we have with us today are first-time players. We welcome from City of Los Angeles, long way that they came, uh, from Ascot Avenue Elementary, we have Team Captain Shanika Grandel. Shanika, welcome, and please introduce us to your first-round players. To my left is Emerson Toledo, and to my right is Lynette Johnson. All right, Emerson and Lynette. And all the way from Burbank, we have Jefferson Elementary School with Team Captain Oliver Lau. Oliver, welcome, and please introduce us to your first-round players. To my right is Emily Rohr, and to my left is Chris Grogan. Emily and Chris. And, uh, and yes, Oliver is wearing glasses, in case you didn't notice what that was on his head. <laughs> all right, uh, before we start, uh, let me first uh, tell you about the prizes that the winning school will win at the end of this season of Kid Quiz. Jack, our announcer, will have that. Jack? This year, our second place school will receive Merriam-Webster's new International Unabridged Dictionary with a beautiful hardwood table. Panasonic's Easy Programming Barcode VCR. The forehead unit lets you set time, date, and channel with the use of a barcode scanner from Panasonic. The winning school will receive the superbly illustrated 22-volume New Book of Knowledge Encyclopedia. Accurate and up-to-date information from Growlier. The Macintosh Personal Computer from Apple Computer. Macintosh, a computer that provides the power to be your best. The winning school will also take home this 1990 Spring Championship Trophy. Absolutely. We have uh, off stage, very important person. She is Arlene Nakamura. She is our judge for today and reminding the team players, if you are correct, the judge will give you one of these. If you're incorrect, she'll give you one of those. And if one team is incorrect, I will repeat the question, and the other team gets to answer that same question. Uh, reminding the team players, hands flat on a white palette and go for the buzzer when you think you have the answer. Let's start with our audio questions for 10 points. First one is, how many weeks in one year? Oliver. 52. 52 weeks is correct for 10. At what Fahrenheit temperature does water freeze? Chris? 32 degrees. 32, freeze. Chris Everett is a professional athlete who recently retired in what sport? Tanika. Tennis. Tennis is correct for a time. This one requires three answers, All right? Name the three tenses of action verbs. Sounds more complicated than it is. Present, past, and future verbs, all right? Tenses. All right, they, they, they heard grammar and they just froze, you know? <laughs> we move along. The next one is musical. I, th I don't think they'll freeze on this one. Let's listen, and then I'll ask you the question. You know, parents all the same, no matter time or place. They don't understand... DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince are performing what song? Oliver was first. Parents just don't understand. Yes, that's what they say. <laughs> it's correct for 10. From geography. If you are Finnish, what country are you from? Emily. Finland. Finland. It's correct for 10. Next one's mathematical. What do we call a geometric figure with six sides? Six-sided figure is a hexagon. Hexagon. Not to be confused with a pentagon, which has five. All right. We move along. This is also a three-part answer. When you're looking for a book in the card catalog of your library, under which three categories could it be listed? Chris. Subject, title, and author. Very good for 10 points. I'll remember that next time I visit the library. <laughs> For 10 points, 
The president and vice president are elected to terms of how many years? Danica. Four. Four is correct for ten points. Two-part answer on this one. Name the two teams who played in this year's Super Bowl. Oliver. San Francisco 49ers and Cincinnati Bengals. Ah, incorrect. Ascot Avenue, the Super Bowl, this January, this past January. Anybody? You got a few seconds left. All right, close. 49ers and the Broncos. Who was it? Um, Elway as quarterback and Montana as quarterback. All right, we thought this would be an aerial game, but Montana sort of took the ball there. Next question for 10. How many minutes in two hours? Chris. 120 up. minutes. 120. Four pounds. This is a two-parter. Two answers on this. When you study grammar, there are four types of sentences. Give me two. Uh, I figured it would be too difficult. Declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory, right? All right, All right. I figured, I wondered if you'd get through that one. All right, that's the end of the audio round. Now to the very valuable 20-point video questions. Team players, watch your monitors. You at home, watch your TV sets. I'll show you the video, wait three seconds, and then ask you the question. Anticipation is very important here. You can anticipate my question, but you, the players, can win or lose depending on how the question was written. All right, here's the first video for 20 points. Watch. A steamboat ride would most likely take place on what U.S. river? Oliver. Mississippi. The Mississippi is correct for 20. Next one's multiple choice. Which pair of words are synonyms? Emily. Large and big. Large and big are synonyms. This correct for 20. Next one for 20 is before you. What are Laurel and Hardy's first names? Laurel and Hardy's first names. Stan and Oliver. Huh? You haven't watched that on reruns on cable? <laughs> anyway, it's on there. It's Laurel and Hardy. Famous comedians from the early days. Uh, next one is mathematical watch. What math sign? Chris, subtract is correct. 420. Remind the team players not to answer until I call your names, all right? Otherwise, uh, we don't know who's answering. Next for 20 points, watch. The penguin is native to which region of the world? Emily. Antarctica. Antarctica is correct for 20. Science from the next one, let's watch. Solid waste is stored in this part of the food canal until it leaves our bodies. Which, what is the name of this food canal? Ah, it's called the large intestine. The l small intestine, the large intestine. Thought it was clearly labeled right there. All right, we move on. 420, here's the next video. He plays for the Oakland A's. Give me his name. Oliver. Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco is correct. All the baseball cards enthusiasts are going, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, next one for 20 points, watch. Madison is the capital of what state? Oliver. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> next one's from Turn Affairs. Tone Loke Wild Thing. Haven't read the question, Tone Loke is correct for 20 points. The, the question Shanika didn't need to listen to was, this Grammy nominee loves sports too, give me his name. All right. Next, for 20 points is before you watch. Carefully. I haven't read it, Emerson. Yeah. Time's up. Here's the question to Jefferson. Many people call it the red planet. Emily. Mars. Mars is the red planet. 
From government, watch this tape. Haven't read the question. Emily's buzzed in. Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon, who resigned in 74. That's right, for 20 points. Now, the next one's mathematical watch. Which of these is a quadrilateral? Uh, Chris. A. A is correct. It had four sides. Ooh, that's the end of the video round. Now, the very valuable bonus question. Team players, team captains, put your hands up. Team players, put your hands to the side. You may confer with each other. I'm going to give you three clues. First clue, worth 50. Second clue, worth 30. Third clue, worth 20. You can answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect, you're out of the round, and the other team gets to answer at whatever clue level they choose. First clue for 50 points. We are looking for a U.S. state. Whose state bird is the Roadrunner? Give me the name of the state. Oliver. New Mexico. New Mexico is correct for 50 points. We'll be right back after this message. Don't go too far away. We'll be back with the second half right now. Hit Quiz will be back. music for the whole family. With six albums and his own national television series, Fred is at his very best in concert. Fred Penner, songs in tune with your child's imagination. See Fred Saturday, May 12th at 1.15 p.m. at the Universal Amphitheater. Tickets available at Santa Monica Children's Book and Music Center and all Ticketmaster locations. To charge by phone, call 213-480-3232. To most people, this is a discarded can. But to a youth group, it's new sports equipment. To some, this is trash. But to a medical center, it's much needed funds. To you, it's garbage. But to a school, it's new computer equipment. What difference does it make if your group recycles cans? About $200 million a year. I'm Woodsy Owl, and I'm here to tell you about a dirty word, water pollution. Kids, it's up to us to keep our lakes and streams clean and beautiful. We've been polluting the water with all kinds of junk, like paper, cans, and gooey gunk. It looks ugly, and it's killing our fish and ducks. Please don't throw junk in the water. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. In the city or in the woods, Happy America looking good. Kid Quiz is back. We are back. We are back with the second half of our game. We now know that the bonus question that the Roadrunner is a state bird of New Mexico. Well, we want to thank our first round players for joining us and, uh, and uh, making it an interesting game. So we asked them, how about a nice hand for first rounders? <laughs> ask them to please take your seat. And as they take their seats, uh, we go back now to our team captains for the introduction of second rounders. Sh Shanika, second to round player. To my left is Jeanette Johnson, and to my right is Jose Ortiz. Janae and Jose, all right. <laughs> and we go back to our team from Burbank, Jefferson Elementary. Oliver, would you please introduce us to the second rounders? To my right is Mark Doshin, and to my left is Christian Jordan. Before we start the second round, as you may know, we have uh, 16 schools participating in this season of the Kid Quiz, and we're going to show you the brackets of all the schools. Maybe this is one of your neighborhood schools, and you recognize some of your friends that go to this school. There you see the ones that have advanced to the next round of eliminations, uh, the two brackets there, and uh, eventually we'll wind down to two teams from each bracket playing for the championship and the prizes that the schools will win. So we hope you'll join us uh, throughout the season this uh, semester as we go through uh, the elimination rounds. Now, moving on to the second round, here's our first question. Uh, the first question is, 
in conjunction with Channel 2's year-long campaign to protect our planet, we begin round two with this special question. Green plants and trees are important to the environment because they create... Oliver. Their own oxygen. Their own oxygen is correct for... 20 points. 10 points. 10 point answer and oxygen is important because I breathe it. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> it's necessary for all of us. We move along for 10 points. The next uh, question. A pronoun takes the place of what part of speech? Jeanette. A noun. A noun is correct for 10. Very good. This next one is a two-parter. I'll require two answers. In Los Angeles, what two professional baseball teams Mark. California Angels and Los Angeles Dodgers. Is correct. The Dodgers and the Angels. The rest of my question, Mark, was which teams play in the freeway series? And you were right because they just drive up the freeway and go play the game instead of having to get on an airplane. Sometimes you might want to take an airplane to Orange County, but sometimes you might want to drive. Next question for 10. In the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, what was given on the fifth day? Janika. Five gold rings. Five golden rings is correct for 10. For 10 points, if centennial means 100 years, how many years in a bicentennial? Oliver. 200. 200 is correct for 10. Next one is musical. Let's listen in and then I'll ask you the question. When Richie Valens wrote this song, from what country did he get the music? Shanika. Go. Mexico is correct for 10. That was the rock and roll version of a Mexican uh, folk song. We move along for 10 points. What kind of fruit includes Valencia and Naval? Kristen. Oranges. The oranges, yes. In golf. What is the term used for the number of strokes necessary to complete? Oliver. Par. Par is correct for 10 points. The number of strokes necessary to complete that hole or the entire course as well. Par. And, uh, sometimes you feel subpar. That means it took you more strokes than you needed to get. Um, Two-part answer on this next one. Eugenia Victoria Helena was born to which parent? Any idea? It's a toughie. She is the daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. Eugenia Victoria Helena someday could be the Queen of England. It'll be a while, but someday. We move along for 10 points. Which, which U.S. state is known as the Grand Canyon State? Arizona. Mark. Arizona is correct, Mark, for 10 points. Remind the team players to wait till I call your name before you answer. Otherwise, we're talking over each other. For 10 points, the next one. What would you find in a book called an atlas? Mark. Country. Incorrect. Ascot. What would you find in a book called an atlas? Incorrect. We're looking for maps. A, an atlas would be a collection of maps from around the world. We would find those things, but we weren't looking for that. All right, that's the end of the audio round. Now the very valuable 20-point questions. Watch your monitors. Wait three seconds. I'll ask you the question. We're going to fly through these, guys. Next, the first question for 20 points, what? She's the first woman to be appointed. Uh, Oliver. O'Connor. O'Connor. Sandra Day O'Connor to the Supreme Court is correct for 20. Next one's from video, from math. This formula is used to find the circumference of a circle. What does D stand for? Mark. Diameter. Diameter is correct. For 20. Next one is video. Watch. Avenue of the Giants, where this redwood is located, is in what state? California. Mark. California is correct for 20. Next one is grammatical. Watch. In the sentence, the ferocious lion roared loudly at its enemy. 
What is the complete predicate? Nobody. The verb part of all that, the complete predi predicate is that the lion roared loudly at its enemy. All right. For 20 points, let's move on to the next question. Here it is. Watch. In 1989, the Exxon oil tanker spilled 11 million gallons of crude, damaging the coastline of what state? Mark. Alaska. Alaska. And there you saw, there you saw the process of having to clean each bird one at a time to get the oil off of them so they could get back in the water. 20 points. Which of these comes first in alphabetical order? Shanika. Science. Science is correct for 20 points. Very good. Next one. As I walk down in the streets of Laredo. He's been dancing, singing, and entertaining. Oliver. Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis for 20 points. He's been entertaining since he was a child. Here's the next video. Author Maurice Zendak wrote this popular children's book. Mark. Where the Wild Things Are. Where the Wild Things Are is correct for 20. All right, next video question before you watch. What do these men have in common? Shanika. They're all presidents. They're all presidents. That's correct for 20 points. Next one is from science. In our solar system, how many planets are there? Mark. Nine. Nine planets. Next one from geography. What? This statue stands on a hill in the Bay of Rio de Janeiro. Who does it represent? Mark. Jesus. Jesus is correct for 20 points. Next for 20 points. Haven't read it, Mark. George Washington. It's a dollar bill dude, right? <laughs> is correct for 20. Next one for 20 points. <laughs> Haven't read it, but uh, Jose was in. Dirty Gale. Uh, cannot accept. Um, to Jefferson, here's the question. This is the anticipation part of the game. What, which path did Dorothy travel? Oliver. Yellow Brick Road. The Yellow Brick Road. 420 is correct. <laughs> Round this number to the nearest thousand. Mark. 7,000. 7,000. Right. Musical question. Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart were famous in what field? Shanika. Artist. Incorrect. Anyone from Jefferson? Mark. Music. Music. They were all the composers. And that's the end of our video round. Now the final bonus question. Once again, three clues. First clue's worth 70. Second clue worth 50. Third clue worth 30. If you, you can answer it whatever clue level you like, but if you're wrong, you're out of the round. Team captains may only buzz in. Team players, put your hands to the side. First clue for 70. This is the only South American country with coastlines on both sides of the continent. And you name this country. Okay, time's up. We go to second clue, now worth 50. This country is second only to Brazil as a producer and exporter of coffee. Oliver. Argentina. Argentina is incorrect. Ascot, would you like the third clue? Yes. In recent times, the government of this country has waged a war against the drug dealers located in this country. Can you name it? Colombia. Colombia is correct for 30 points. Seniga. Very good. We'll be back with the conclusion of our game after this message. Don't go too far away. Kick quiz. We'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Circus Vargas, America's largest traveling big top circus. Come celebrate an all new 21st anniversary extravaganza. Free children's coupons at participating lucky stores. 
Circus Vargas now in Bakersfield and coming to San Fernando, Wilmington, and Pico Rivera. Tickets available at participating malls, Ticketmaster, and Circus Vargas. See family entertainment at its finest. See Circus Vargas. <laughs> Children's music for the whole family. With six albums and his own national television series, Fred is at his very best in concert. Fred Penner, songs in tune with your child's imagination. See Fred Saturday, May 12th at 1.15 p.m. at the Universal Amphitheater. Tickets available at Santa Monica Children's Book and Music Center and all Ticketmaster locations. To charge by phone, call 213-480-3232. Kid Space Museum is a very special place, just for children. At Kid Space, all the exhibits are meant to be experienced, so children can learn and have fun at the same time. Be a firefighter on a real-life fire engine. Talk to Herman the robot. Broadcast the news in a television studio. And pretend to be an ant in the giant carpeted ant wall. Special programs and events are always happening, too. For information about Kid Space Museum in Pasadena, call 818-449-9143. My mother, she had, she drinks a lot and it got me addicted. Drinking and taking me so far down, I had to get out of my house. It made me do things that I never thought I'd do. If I take one drink, I'm gonna take another and another because I can't control myself and I'll die. Hey yo, alcohol is a drug and you can get hooked on it. And the younger you start, the more damage you can do. Word. I'm cool in my way, not by drinking. Now I can see going to college. Say no and say yes to your life. Kid Quiz is back. Thank you. We have been back with the conclusion of our game. Uh, we want to thank our school from Ascot Avenue for joining us. And that is, uh, what's the name of our alternate there, Shanika? Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, scoot over to the side so we can see you there. There, there we go. All right. Ascot Avenue, nice game. Thanks for coming. We congratulate Jefferson, uh, who moves on to the next round of eliminations. How about a nice hand for him? <laughs> and we now know that the state bird of New Mexico is the Roadrunner. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with another game of Kid Quiz soon, so I hope you'll stay up and join us then. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. So long. <laughs>